That is pretty cool. Today, I'm going to show you a tip to create some of the most realistic looking images. This looks exactly like her. That's the power of what these tokens can do. In fact, this tip I'm sharing today is so simple, it's embarrassing, but it's embarrassingly good. Well, that was fun. The results you're going to get from it, though, are stunning. subscribe but this is only going to be the starting point but then we're going to take it up a notch and add a little twist to take it to an even higher level every single one of these images that you see on your screen was done by using this simple yet very effective tip and then when you convert these to actual videos they make them look even better okay so the tip is very simple we're going to do a few different versions of this to kind of rephrase this in multiple ways but you'll see right off the bat it is embarrassingly good but remember we're not going to stop with just this because we're actually going to add a lot more details to it okay we're going to start with this right here the most realistic photograph ever in the world okay we're going to generate this in mid journey we're also going to do it in free pick as well that way we can compare now i'll use 2.5 flexible in mid journey and then we're going to also do it in leonardo ai that way we can actually compare and see how good a job everything does. For this one, I'm specifically going to choose Lucid Realism. Lucid Realism or Origin are gonna be by far my favorite ones in Leonardo AI. Now let's go ahead and generate this one. Now another variation, instead of using the word photograph, we can also use image, okay? Now it might not make a big difference, but you'd be surprised that sometimes it actually does. Okay, so we'll do the same exact thing again in all three of these platforms and then do a quick comparison just so we could see. So I'll do two images. I'll select ultra in realism. Prompt enhance, I should have turned off, so I might have to regenerate it again. Yep, I need to make sure I actually do turn off prompt enhance. I'll do it again for lucid realism because it actually changed my prompt. And guys, by the way, check the links in the description for most amazing prompts databases ever. Now let's go back and start at mid journey to see what sort of images that we get. Okay, here's the first one. Most realistic photograph ever in the world. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, look at that. I mean, that is pretty impressive. I mean, let's go ahead and select it to animate the image and see how it looks for a video. That's pretty cool. We have the other ones, the most realistic photograph ever in the world. I mean, that's pretty cool as well. Look at that, with that car floating. Now watch this. I'm gonna show you some crazy good tricks. Now I'm gonna select one of these images I just downloaded in Mid Journey, okay? I'm gonna open up this image here. Let's download this one, okay? Now, if I wanna make this image again and say, for an example, I really made it good, what sort of tokens did I use? Watch this. I'm gonna head over into ChatGPT. I'm gonna bring that image in, okay? Now, with that image in the ChatGPT, I'm gonna say this. This image was created in Mid Journey. What meta tokens should I use to generate it again to keep the hyper realism? Now, ChatGPT is inspecting the image, and look at that right there. It's giving me everything I want. It's giving me these core meta tokens I could use to generate a similar image like this one and have it look just as good, okay? And then down here below, example prompt structure. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try it. Copy this and now paste it in the mid journey to see if we can at least get something comparable, if not at least realistic like that one. Now, sticking on this trend, let's make sure, let's go ahead and select this prompt again because now we're actually gonna take things to an even higher level, okay? the most realistic photograph ever in the world okay now before we do that let's check out what we got in leonardo ai pretty good however the background looks animated but the forefront looks very realistic now remember i didn't really specify in my prompts image versus photograph because that can consist of like a drawing or a sketch but these actually turned out pretty well right here okay very good job now let's visit free pick it looks like free pick. We got some pretty cool ones too. That's definitely a unique one. I like that. That's pretty good. That's a good boy. Yes, you are. 
Such a good boy. That one's great too with that bokeh effect blurriness in the background and even that close-up shot. Fantastic job. Okay, so you can see for the most part, it's the AI is going to make things pretty unique. We might go with like a National Geographic style and then it's going to give us like this unique fantasy style one. That's the reason why I really love using this prompt because you're going to get just whatever. But look at this. Remember how I uploaded that image in the chat GPT? That's exactly what I was looking for. Now, the goal here it wasn't to get the exact same image by any means. It was to get something similar, but the most important thing I wanted was what tokens are needed to create a realistic image like this. And after uploading it in the chat GPT, I mean, for the most part, you cannot argue that this image looks pretty good as well. Okay, so that's a very simple trick that you can use. Now, while we have our videos being generated, let's open these up and look at that right here. Now, do you see how good it actually does when you convert these in the video? Pretty fantastic. And we even have this one of this car flying. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Mid journey AI video, I must say, I am pretty impressed with, with one click of a button, we're gonna get that. But now the next thing we're gonna do, with the same thing, I'm gonna show you two things. The most realistic photograph ever in the world, but now let's add a reference image. Specifically, I'm gonna use Omni Reference to create a character, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and use my AI influencer for Cherry, and let's generate that one. So now we're gonna have that going. However, I'm gonna do it one more time. Also select Cherry again, my AI influencer. And now this time I'm also gonna use a style reference. I'm gonna select this woman here that looks to be blowing that kiss. On this one, I'll change up my aspect ratio a little bit differently to a two, three. Okay, now back over here in the free pick, I can also do the same thing. Now I'll select my character and for my specific character, I'll choose one I already used before. I'll also select one of my characters here. We're gonna go with Angelica, okay? Now, I can only use this in a few select models, so I'll make sure I select the Mystic version 2.5 where I can use a character. We're gonna go ahead and try this one as well, the most realistic image ever in the world. I have my character selected, and now generate this in free pick, all right? But now, that's not even the best part. Now, we're gonna take things to a completely new level and get images even more realistic. And we're gonna do that by adding a specific meta token to the prompt. And so remember what meta tokens are? That's exactly what I just got in my chat GPT chat, okay? You can see all of these right here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, actually, I'm gonna go to my prompts portal. Specifically, I'm gonna go into my cheat code realism one and open up my tokens view. These are gonna be hundreds and hundreds of these secret meta tokens to use to get images that even look more and more realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this meta token, that's C001.R3D, and why not go ahead and copy this right here, okay? Just to add a few more details to it. Go back over in the mid journey. I'm first gonna go ahead and paste in my token at the forefront like this. That's C001 and remove everything else, then put a comma. You'll see how this is set up, okay? I have my meta token, C001R3D, the most realistic photograph ever in the world, and then authentic shot of a top model. Okay, I'll copy that. I'll also do it again using an omni reference of a specific AI influencer, okay? There we have it. Do you see the combination of things that we're going to get? If I go back over in the free pick, let's see how it turned out with Mystic. Look at that. Look how good this looks of my AI influencer, Angelica. Amazing job. It's the combination of everything. But now if I go ahead and paste it in again, let's remove Angelica and use this same one again with flexible with that same token I'm selecting. And now generate that in free pick. Let's also go into Leonardo AI and do it in realism as well and see how this turns out, okay? Ultra will also do two, three. Prompt enhance is off. And now for this one, I will select a specific style of portrait. We'll generate this one in realism and we'll also do it in origin as well. That way we can compare. Now, the final moment of truth. We have a few in mid journey. Look at this right here. Incredible job. Now, this is without my image reference, the Omni reference one, just with the prompt alone. Look at that. Wow, that's insanely good. That's fantastic as well. I'll select low motion and transform this into a video as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at free pick or Leonardo. And now look at that one. That again, 
pretty impressive, all right? And in Leonardo, we get some pretty good portraits right here. Now, watch this. The most realistic cinematic style, okay? Remove photograph and put stills archive shot ever of a Hollywood movie film, okay? Let's just see what this does on its own, okay? Now, stills archive. That is a very important keyword to use. We're gonna do it this way, but we're also gonna do it in reverse, where I put Stills Archive at the very forefront because the first few words that you use actually play an important role. So look what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Stills Archive, comma, and now we're gonna put HBO, Dot com, but put a space after the dot and com, and now a comma, the most realistic cinematic style shot ever of a Hollywood movie film, all right? We'll also do it in free pick. Now watch this. Now after Still's Archive, I'm gonna put a comma, and I'm gonna put Harley Quinn, you know, she is a superhero character, and maintain hbo.com. Instead of hbo.com, I'm gonna put lionsgate.com, and now generate this one. It looks like I need to change up my aspect ratio back to 16.9, and now there we have it. Let's go back and take a look at what the other ones did for us. We still have a few being generated, but look, at least we have this one here, the most realistic cinematic style stills archive shot ever of a Hollywood film. And so when I'm using it without referencing an actual film, look at that, it just takes whatever it wants, but that's pretty impressive. Now, I'm gonna do this again and make sure I have 169 wide angle selected. That way it could do a good job, but then look at this one right here. Look how good this one looks. This is all fantastic, okay? Back in the free pick now, these look incredible as well. Let's do the same thing and also do it in flexible. And for this one, let's go ahead and leave HBO. Okay, so look at these images I got at the top row. It did make Harley Quinn, but these three images are of a man. I'm gonna change it up in my prompt. This is gonna actually look much better if I do it in mid-journey because if I reference the actual studio, if I actually reference Disney, now you can't use Disney, the word Disney in free pick, but you should be able to use it in mid-journey. So again, I'll do Disney.com. Make sure you have a space after Disney and .com. And now we'll try this again, okay? Now check this out. Since we're back here in Midjourney, let's take a look at the rest of these images we got. Look at that right there, fantastic. This is referencing Stills Archive, HBO.com. And again, as I scroll down, I love how we're gonna get everything from like a more modern style to grainy, to vintage, to even this one right here, kind of like an older, and then we get the black and white. It is such, it does such a good job with a wide different variety. But now look at this one. This is that Harley Quinn one for Lionsgate.com. Look how impressive that these all turned out. Now, I think it honestly is gonna work the best once you reference a specific studio stills archive and then list a character specifically or even a movie okay because if i do this again if i do stills archive lionsgate.com if instead i do this time like the hunger games we'll see if this allows me to go through you'll see it does good when you actually reference a character or a movie but for the most part i mean that's pretty impressive everything that we got now when it comes to our video look at how good this turned out with the video. Both of these, I generated two, incredible. I mean, everything I've been getting has just been blowing me away. And now we're gonna have these newer ones of Harley Quinn, where I changed the studio now to Disney.com. Look how realistic this looks. Mid Journey does do a little bit of a better job, as you can see in this image here, that that really does look like Hunger Games. But watch what happens when I change things up, okay? Look at these images of Amelia Clark. Now watch this. This is the token I used. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, come back in the mid journey and just paste this as is. You'll see the difference of when I reference it, but then I'll do it again, I'll paste it. But now this time I'm gonna use two cheat codes. I'm gonna go stills archive, okay, stills archive, comma, hbo.com, comma. I'm gonna leave in this secret token here. And now what I'll do is leave everything as is. And after that colon, I'm gonna put the most realistic image ever and now specify Daenerys Targaryen. But let's quickly take a look at one other one we forgot to mention, where I just said the most realistic photograph ever in the world, and all I did was upload one Omni reference image. Look what I got, pretty good. The bokeh effect and that blurriness really does add to the realism. Let's scroll up and see how these are going. Now we have one set done, let's open these up. Look at that right there, incredible job. Now, this, looks just like the character in the movie or Amelia Clark in the show. This looks exactly like her. That's the power of what these tokens can do. Now, scrolling up, this is almost complete. This is where we really combine 
all of these meta tokens and keywords. Now look at that. Exceptionally well done, specifically when using a close up. I mean, this is incredible how good these all turned out. Amazing. So there you have it. An embarrassingly simple yet very effective and impressive tip that you could use to up your level of AI image realism. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Try it for yourself. And I'd love to hear any other different variations that you choose to use. Let me know what you guys did. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and